Hello guys, thank you for tuning in Techie Nets. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tool uh, which you can use to record your laptop screen. Uh, this tool mostly would be available in all the PCs. Okay, it's none other than Microsoft PowerPoint. Yes, it's Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Uh, it's hard to believe, yes, but PowerPoint do have a feature to record your screen. So you do not need to install any additional softwares and make your system mess or uh, make your system risk of any malicious attack. So let's go into the video. For that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. So first, as you know, you got to open Microsoft PowerPoint from your system. Open PowerPoint. So this feature works in any latest version of Microsoft Office. First go to a blank presentation and then you can select the option known as record it will be available in your ribbon bar see you can see it here okay click on record and here you have a bunch of option to record the slide to take a screenshot of a slide screen recording video to insert a video to your presentation and to insert an audio to your presentation and you can save this entire presentation as a show and you can export the video the entire presentation you can export it as a video so here the option which we are going to use is screen recording so click on screen recording so once you click on screen recording your system will go a little blur and your cursor will go into a plus symbol basically what it is asking you to do is it is asking you to select the area which you want to record for instance you don't want to record your entire screen you want to record only a particular window or particular area of your screen you can select so now I will select my entire screen to be recorded. So once you have selected your screen, you can just click on the record button. Before that, in case if you wanted to record your audio as well, then you have to enable this audio button. Also, if you want to record your mouse pointer as well, you have got to enable this mouse pointer button. So if you don't need your audio or mouse pointer to be recorded, you can disable this button. So as soon as you click record, it will show you a countdown and now your recording starts let's assume when you are recording you want to pause your video so all you have to do is just take your cursor to the top of your screen and you will be having a pause button just click on pause so once you pause the recording would be stopped and once you click record again it will start from where it has paused once you have finished recording your screen once your work is done all you have to do is go to the top and stop the recording so once you have stopped the recording whatever you have recorded would be available in the presentation slide so if you and just now click your on recording play, starts let's assume when you are recording so if you click on play whatever you have recorded would be played in the screen but yet it is not in a video format you have to export this recording into a video to do that go to the recording option again and select export to video so as of now your recording is still as a presentation slide in powerpoint you have to export it as a video click on export to video option and here you can select the quality of the video whether you want it as a 4k video or a full hd hd or standard so based on the quality the size of the video differs so i am uh, selecting full hd here or I can also select HD 720 I'm just selecting this so that the export will be completed soon so I will click create video and it is asking me to save it I will save it in the desktop the name is presentation 1 and it is a mp4 file click on save so once you click on save in the bottom of the PowerPoint screen you can see the progress of the video creation so you might need to wait for some time based on the uh, length of your video and based on the quality of the video whether it is full HD or HD it might take some time to complete the video creation process and once it is created you can go ahead to the path where it is saved and view the video. So as you see uh, the video creation process is completed now I will go to my desktop where the presentation is saved. So as you can see here, the presentation is available here. I will just 
double click on it and now your recording starts let's assume when you are recording you want to pause your video so you can see here the recording has been exported into a mp4 file so now this recording you can use it anywhere i will close this video so again a quick around go to powerpoint select the record option in the ribbon bar and then screen recording once your recording is done you got to export the video i hope this video might have helped you and do not use any other software for recording you can use your own powerpoint which is available in your system if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and support me i will meet you in the next video thank you from techinets bye